All right, shower is completed. That's not okay. Oh, I just saw the net again. That's not okay, in my opinion. Oh! <laughs> I have order takeout, because I have. I'm using a little butternut right now. <sighs> Trying my first bite of food. It dribbled on me a little bit. One day I will be a plus size influencer who has died. That is crazy. This video is so raw, you guys. Fuck. Hey there, YouTube. It's me, Hens. Uh, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've talked to you because our girl didn't feel like posting because she was too busy living her life, living her worst life. And now we're going to see what she was up to during a fucking week because apparently it takes that long to, to make an 11 and a half minute video. Apparently. For her, at least. So let's get it started. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So we're gonna Amber. start off this one with a pretty big Target haul. I mean, I don't know. It feels big really, to me. really, just like this feels just like when she used to spend Crystal's parents' money and just like waste it, just waste it. So I got one of these. Really, Amber. bitch. This bitch makes more money than I do, and I'm a fucking professional in my career, and she still eats this shit instant lunch ramen thingies i don't know it just sounded good like i don't really feel like cooking today i don't want to order takeout and i haven't gone grocery shopping in a hot minute so i don't really have things that like can cultivate like a meal and then today's actually my mom's boyfriend's birthday why did you say it like that oh my god the hatred in her voice it's my mom's boyfriend's birthday oh my god like, is it literally just because it's not about you and, like, in no way is it about you? Is that really what it is? Because you sound like a spoiled fucking brat. And tomorrow is his eight-year anniversary of being sober, so congrats to him. So, for... That wasn't shady at all. His birthday, I got him $66. And at least he's sober. Unlike and you. I literally wrapped every single one individually. 66. Unlike you. He's turning 66. Scratchers because he... Miss, oh, I just got some more of my drug. That little cup of ramen, that's a drug for her. It has all that sodium. She doesn't eat it. She has lipedema, remember? Lipedema and lymphedema. Lipedema for the fat. Lymphedema for the f fluid. You know? Enjoys them. But for his clean... Also, clean the fucking nasty-ass glitter off your face. It literally looks like you forgot to wipe your eyes after you got up, and you didn't wash your face. That's literally what it looks like. It looks gross. Sober date, I got him some of these chocolates, because what I the got fuck? them as a- This is exactly what she used to do. She literally- <laughs> The ankle just did a video, a retro react, to Amber with Crystal when she got- uh james crystal's dad a bunch of fucking candy and snacks and junk and that was what she got him for his birthday because that's what she wants for her birthday and she knows that whoever she gets this for is not going to eat it all they're not going to want the fucking candy because they're not children unless they're fucking really into candy they're not going to eat all that candy and you know she's going to want some she's going to be like well if I got the shareable one. It's not even like actually individually open. You can reclose it. So let me have some. It says share on it. Remember? Right here. It says share. Surprise one day at bingo. He had never had it before and then he like became obsessed. So I was like, okay, I know what to get you. I needed some more mascara. Really? And, like, the Maybelline. Really? You said, oh, he liked that chocolate that one time. That's what I'll get him for his birthday new york falsies one of the best mascaras i've used in a while she I is the least empathetic person ever like you've been around your mom for the past uh nine months and you couldn't be bothered to learn anything about her boyfriend anything of substance wow wow amber you're really beating the man-hating lesbian rumors you're really beating them. I got some Dawn Gentle Clean Ditch Soap in pink, of course. So I've been craving cherries, whether they're fresh cherries or the cherries that are in like a jar. My girlfriend actually surprised me with flowers, fresh cherries, and I just thought it was like the... Does she think that 
Those are just like natural cherries. Amber, those are fucking processed cherries for desserts. Like, it's candied. What is wrong with you, you fucking monster? I bet she just eats them out of the fucking jar, the maraschino cherries. That's fucking nasty. That is gross. Sweetest thing in the world. I got some more makeup remover, which my favorite is the Neutrogena. She really does think it's just fruit. It's just fresh fruit in a jar that you just eat. Oh my god, she really does. No wonder she's 500 fucking pounds. It's just... And she is 500 pounds, because she admitted in the last, in the Q&A, that she get, went up in weight. She admitted it. She's 500 pounds. Easy peasy, my face is super sensitive, and that's like something that actually does not break out my face when I use it, so I'm gonna keep using it. So I got... Yeah, water would do that too. And water makes sure that your face is actually clean and there's no residue. Amber... Imagine that. Some Clorox all-purpose cleaner. Got some of my most favorite lotion. So I like the Cetaphil moisturizing cream. Literally the best. Got some of my pink Febreze cherry blossom trash bags. Ew. So I really like exfoliating my skin. I have some exfoliating gloves. And we don't believe you. And besides, your face looks like that because there's a fucking smoothing filter. When I edit this tomorrow morning, I will put in a picture of you with your face from the past with skin texture that you did not get rid of with facial scrubs because it was texture that would require like laser treatment and like uh what is it called i think it's nitrogen gas treatment um it's like resurfacing and she definitely did not put out to get that we know that because she couldn't fucking go to the doctor let alone go to a dermatologist like be fucking for real I wanted some of this Tree Hut Watermelon. It is whipped shea body butter. So I'm excited to try this. Like, I love Tree Hut, but I've never used this flavor, this scent before. I got some Venus uh, razors. This is usually stuff that I just, like, don't haul. But I'm like, you know what? Let's go for it. I got some Crest White. I don't believe it. She is literally getting all of the toiletries that she never uses because she doesn't bathe. Literally. She is so fake for this. Like... <laughs> uh, she is so fake for this. Toothpaste. So back in January, I stopped using heat to my hair. I stopped doing the whole dry shampoo thing. It still looks like fucking garbage. You should chop it off. You need to cut it right here. Because this is where the breakage starts. This is where it starts. And your hair already looks raggedy right here. So you can either cut it up to here. Or you can cut it to here. Or... Your hair can continue fraying all the way up to your scalp. But I've decided I think I might go back to using dry shampoo here and there. I got some deodorant. This is just the Dove carrying coconut. And of course, I got some of the dry spray as well, which is also in Dove. All right, Ew. so now I have to put everything away. Okay, in guys, Dove. So I have not been it is in Dove. I put it in a bird. Filming lately, and yes, I'm currently wearing a crown. I have not actually vlogged in You are a few fucking days, psycho. And I just like... Like, honestly, it is actually psychotic to be a 500 pound homebound nobody with no friends no interaction with any regular human beings on a regular basis aside from your mommy at age 33 going on 34 and immobile amber why are you wearing a crown the only crown you deserve is the crown of failure the fact that you cannot get yourself up in the morning and buckle down for even two weeks in a row, even with Ozempic, you couldn't do it. You were telling us constantly that, oh, well, I'm not really eating, but then we would see you and you wouldn't have any actual food in your fridge. So you were definitely eating something. You were definitely eating something. So in Dove. All right, so now I'm in Dove. Okay, guys, so I have not been filming lately, and yes, I'm currently wearing a crown. I have not actually vlogged in a few days, and I just, like, hop back up on here with a freaking crown on my head and acting like I'm the queen of the world here. And I also do my makeup. Not really. Hair. Not really. Not really. You're acting like you're dumb. Like, you're very, very dumb. Like, you are a six-year-old who never grew up emotionally, but your body grew up. And it grew out. 
like i decided to wear some like eyeshadow i'm literally wearing like multiple eyeshadows with like glitter I don't multiple know glitter. eyeshadow but me and tommy have been talking about me making this tiktok where it's obviously billy eilish where it's like you should see me in a crown so it's like a how would i fucking know that i don't listen to billy eilish because guess what i actually have sophisticated music taste i listen to multiple genres I not even multiple genres. I listen to basically every genre except for gospel. Like at this point, I've even started listening to country again. Like somehow it's started hitting my ear and I love it. I, I don't know why, but apparently my uh, redneck roots are coming out. So I finally did it and I'm like, okay, it's kind of cute, kind of fun, kind of fresh. I love it. And you guys literally, speaking of Tommy, if you guys don't know, I'm in a long distance relationship. I'm actually very happy. I am meeting her very soon. That little... <laughs> you guys, <laughs> did you know that I'm in a long distance relationship? That was her trying to brag. It really was. And it's kind of embarrassingly transparent. It's like when a middle schooler celebrates that they got to go steady with their crush like and they just couldn't wait to tell their friends except we're not your friends we're literally the popular kids that don't like you when i tell you very soon i mean literally it's so close but like by the time you see this i might have already met her i'm just like it's so, so close you guys she'll practically be inside of me you know and it feels really good and i've been so just like distracted and that's why i haven't been filming or anything i'm gonna do better i'm actually thinking about doing a live stream today but actually no don't you don't need to don't do anything i don't need you to release any videos it's hot as fuck right now where i live it was 95 to 97 for the last week today was the first day that it was below 95 it was 93 and then tomorrow was supposed to be 89 and it's been revised up to 91 so fuck you and stay off the internet should be a really good day for that but i have plans soon if you guys want me to live stream a little bit here and there that's i don't know. i know that's like very highly i don't requested. i'm gonna take this off my head now but i know that's like very highly requested can you take the fake chain off of your neck because it's gonna turn it green you've done it before and you don't need to do it again because at this point i think it might affect your health you're a little bit unstable you know so if it's still something that you guys want to see definitely let me know but truly i'm just lolling at the fact that i started my day off like looking like an actual janitor like i mopped my whole apartment and now in the middle of the day wait I'm you f no she did not just say that she sorry i'm like half paying attention it's literally like 11 30 at night and the only reason i'm wide awake is because i had a celsius at seven um I'm going to go back because this is about to piss me off. If it's still something that you guys want to see, definitely let me know. But truly, I'm just LOLing at the fact that I started my day off, like, looking like an actual janitor. Like, I mopped my whole apartment. What's funny about looking like a janitor, Amber? What's funny about being a janitor? What is funny about somebody who works so hard to clean up behind other people? What is funny about that, Amber? What's comical about somebody mopping the floor? What's comical about somebody actually taking pride in how clean and shiny and lovely it is when people come into a space? Because that's how a lot of custodians are. They're custodians of the space. You're disrespectful. That alone, what you just said, tells us that when you claim that you tip 30% by standard. That's a fucking lie. That is a fucking lie. Because, guess what? Janitors are service workers, too. They're literally the most common service workers because they're everywhere. If you want to thank somebody for making a space look nice, thank the janitors. Thank the maids. Thank the people who actually do the cleaning. The people who do the hard work, Amber. Don't be an entitled little bitch like you are. And now in the middle of the day, I'm literally a queen. Like, okay. You guys, I have been... You're really not. Sort of kind of obsessed with purses lately. You're really not. Because a true queen understands humility. You'd never learn that one, though. Yes. Yes, I did. I did get a phone purse. 
I really did. And it's actually currently ringing. So, hello? Yes, this is the queen of girl world. Yes, a lot of people have an income because of me. <laughs> yes, that is me. Guess who doesn't? Me. I don't need you, bitch. Because I have a full-time career. You're a pastime of mine that I enjoy on cooler days. If it's too hot, I won't fucking record a video because I don't need to put myself through the toaster oven that is my laptop. I don't need that. And I don't need you. And most people don't need you because you're pathetic. Because you literally do not have any real connection to this world. And if you disappeared tomorrow, nobody would miss you. Yeah, hello. That's narcissistic. Okay. But for real though, like, she's so cute. The strap is shorter and obviously... No. She's not. Especially not when you're looking at yourself in the viewfinder as you put it on and say she. Because then it seems like you're talking about yourself, but seemingly trying to make it seem as though you're talking about the purse. Which is really weird. I'm a larger body, folks. So a larger No, body you're not. You're not a larger body. A larger body is what I was when I was at 200 pounds versus my normal weight of about 160. Like, that was a bigger body. You, you are morbidly obese. Super morbidly obese and ready to die. You were born to die, just like Lana Del Rey said. And shorter straps don't always get along very well. So I don't know if I'd wear it like that, but definitely like this is a vibe. Oh my God, it's so cute. But look at this purse I got. Yes, there is another one. But I got this one like a week ago, and I actually just have it waddle, set waddle, up on waddle, my shelf. Waddle, 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 waddle. If you guys know me, then you know I love a dinosaur. So look, look at this purse I got. Yes, there is another waddle, one. Waddle, waddle, waddle. But I got this waddle, one like a waddle, week waddle, ago, waddle. and I actually waddle, just have waddle, it set waddle. up on my bookshelf. Hold on. If you guys know me, then you know I love a dinosaur. So look how freaking adorable. This is a purse. Do you even know what it's like, called? Okay. And when I'm not using this guy. Do you even know what family group it belongs to, Amber? No. She'd probably say, like, some random shit, or just not know. It's a Ceratops, Amber. It doesn't look like a Triceratops, it just looks like a Ceratopsian. But, you wouldn't know that, because you're not invested in learning about the world, or about others. Or about history. You like, vapid, right now, self-congratulatory bullshit. Anything that can give you immediate, like, gratification, that's what you're after. Including just, like... The little, like, oh, I'm the queen of girl world because you think that people will react to that. Notice how I didn't react to that. I reacted before that and then after that. That didn't matter to me because she doesn't actually matter when she tries to do these things. It's all about our engagement in terms of how she does in her video performance. She only got 70 something thousand views on that one video because she waited a week. If she had posted before, and I think that's why she was folding off, it would have not gotten that high because people wouldn't have kept watching it. And I think that it was counting people going back to the page as like checking because it'll start auto playing for some people, uh, especially if you, you're on mobile. So I think that that's what was happening. It wasn't actually people watching the video. And I'm sure the metrics will show that if we could actually see it because I can see my analytics, I can see uh, the average view time, and I'm a tiny channel. I'm tiny. I can see this shit. So I know she can see this shit and see that nobody's actually watching except for that initial impression. But then all those one clicks and click off, that drops it so fast. Because if you're only watching for a second and then averaging against like a uh, full time view it cuts the time to half and then if half of the views are those one clicks then uh her view time goes to the tank i'll also have it like set up for decor it's just so cute all right no guys, it's I'm not these nails done it's been a minute so is my mom it's, my it's been a minute because they couldn't put it on because it would damage your nails further because you ripped them off, remember? I do a before and after. Can you see mine? Yeah. Yeah, we can see your wrinkles. And we can see Amber's because your hand is in the frame. Thank you, Mama Lynn. Your hand is exposing your daughter again about her lies. Because when she holds stuff up and like when she was in the fucking thrift store, she was holding stuff and she had no 
li no lines on her knuckles. Um, everybody has lines on their knuckles, even if it's faint. And they had, hers had none. They were smooth as fuck, like baby skin. And now it looks like she has old maiden hands, just like her mommy. Except her mom did meth for fucking like 30 years and still looks better than her. <laughs> yep. Her mom's face skin is way better than Amber's. And that's saying that after her mom get could like her mom gets sun, guys. That's what would happen to Amber if she actually went outside. She would turn not pale. That's what happens when you get sun. She never goes outside and never gets any amount of, like, tan. That's why Amber never actually gets darker. That's part of it. Like, her mom clearly is a vivacious lady living her life. And Amber could only wish to do so much. And the point is, she's not Native American. Did <laughs> you see my... Are you ready? Look. Are they, like, ridiculous? They're super pretty. There's our nails. Oh my god, yay! How cute! Ooh, look at them wrinkles. Ooh, we're gonna go back and look some more wrinkles. Ooh, look at them wrinkles. Oh Not Mama Lynn. She has old hands, and I, I know that drugs drugs in a hard life can wear you down. Are you ready? Look. Are they, like, ridiculous? They're super no. pretty. There's our nails. I like her nails, actually. The purple sparkly. It's kind of cute. Especially because it works with the tan of her skin. It, it looks good. Amber, no. Oh my god, yay! It looks like you could have done that at home, Amber. That's fucking disgusting. Like, what the actual fuck is this shit? You should have done this at home, Amber. Your little piggy tails. These look like toes. <laughs> oh my god, they look like fucking toes. Ew. Why do they look like toes? How cute! Yeah, your wrinkly ass fingers. Oh look at God. that. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that middle finger. Middle finger to us, you guys. From writing so much? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Sure, bitch. From writing. Oh, my God, yay. Ooh, look at them wrinkles. Look at that circulation getting cut off on both fingers. Woo. No. At least you'll have three-fifths of her hand with circulation, I guess. How cute. Oh Look at that uh, callus I have from writing something. No, she saw that she had a callus and she was like, I'm going to flip off the camera because they're going to notice. <laughs> You're such a fucking gordo bitch. Much? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, Amber. I write a lot. Oh, God, Amber. They look fake. They're beautiful. They yeah, look... these are real nail yeah. polish. <laughs> with just a normal nail polish. That's so pretty. Oh, my God, I love them. Yeah, it literally looks like you guys are two teen girls and you did it at a sleepover. It literally looks like you didn't need to go and have a professional do it. Okay, guys, so my mom just left. We ended up hanging out and we went to get some lunch and then I had to go get more vapes. And then we went to Walmart. No, you didn't. And I... You didn't have to. You didn't have to at all. You chose to. You made a choice, Amber. Don't dismiss that. You made a choice. You decided to do that. Not your mommy, not uh, Valentine, and not Tommy. You. You did. You decided that you wanted to get your vapes because you need to smoke your fake THC and get fake high and get fake munchies. It's just a fucking excuse for her to eat. She really has not changed at all. And this is over like 10 12 years just being an absolute pile of shit and growing got some new pillows because that's something that i've been wanting to do and she just was over to hang out for a little bit but i wanted to show you something i got off of amazon which also came when i got my new purse but as you guys know i love a lego i also really like off-brand legos so i will do that sometimes as well i really like you know the things that you can just build things out of like they're like almost like miniature versions of things it's like you put it together it's like this thing like a concept it's like oh a model kit oh almost like they had model kits way before legos was ever invented almost like you could like 
<laughs> I'm, I was just reminded of something in my childhood home. My dad had a ship in a bottle. That is an assembly that you build in the bottle. Amber. That's a model assembly. My cousin used to build model airplanes. Like a weirdo. But, uh, like, models are normal. Legos are child's play. And that's what she doesn't understand. Real models, like, they're expensive, they're intricate, and you have to do all the painting and shit. Like, you have no fucking clue. When I was a, a Cub Scout, I did the uh, Pinewood Derby. So if you, are, if you were a Boy Scout, you know... Uh, Pinewood Derby, huge, so much fun, it's so ramped up. You literally um, build your own car. You enter it from, uh, I believe we like had several kids representing our troop, and it was like an assembly of local troops uh, doing the competition, and it was so much fun. Like, you build your car, you paint your car, you fucking race them. It's so cool, like a box car derby or whatever, like the in the Little Rascals. Um, and Amber could never. She doesn't understand that. She doesn't understand, like, real involvement in community. Like, model building is a huge community. It was a community before there was the internet. Imagine that. Oh, but obviously Lego is top notch. Like the brand Lego is no Chef's kiss. And the Lego I was doing was uh, the Shadow Cape. You show your ignorance every time you open your mouth, Amber. It's not. It's not the best, and it's not the only, and it's not the original. Building has been an essential part of probably human like, uh, like entertainment. Just because we're so like inquisitive and. Even when we're bored, we want to figure things out. So that's part of building things, is just figuring things out and how they fit together. The Batman Shadow Cave, which Valentine got me, and I was halfway done with it. And and it now I don't even want to touch that shit because that stupid bitch, ugh, she cheated on me, you guys. Ugh. Made me in a very, very bad headspace. So as much as I love the Lego, I am not going to be completing it. You literally weren't working on it for the better part of a month before you went on your little, oh, we broke up. You literally were not working on it. You were so fake. And I'm getting rid of it. So that's that. And I know nothing about star trenches, whatever that means. But something about like the meticulous, is that the word? The meticulousness of this just looks so fun. So no, it would be the intricacy. You dumb bitch. I'm about to start that. Yes, I am. And God damn. Pieces. Like, stop pretending that you're a red ass bitch. You are illiterate. You are illiterate as far as I'm concerned. I don't think that you went to middle school level uh, science class. I don't think that you went to middle school level math class. I don't think that you actually graduated from college or from high school. Really. Or if you did, it was later and with a certificate which is totally cool but not for her to brag on the internet that she's so intellectual she is ignorant she is unread and she is not interesting which is a lot you guys please look at how tiny these pieces are wow like itty bitty oh my gosh i mean it does literally say it's it like legos box. Bitch, where were you in the 90s when we had skinny-ass Legos that you couldn't even take off of each other? Like, where the fuck were you? Literally, it says micro brick. Of course. Of course. That's literally what it is. Micro brick? So, that explains it? Yeah. Hey guys, you think so? The next day, I was about to say welcome to a new vlog, but it's definitely Dumb not Dumb fuck. Today's just like a productive day. Like, I have tons of new pillows that are still in the packages that I have to take out. Today's the day... You guys see? She's she's beginning her nesting. She's nesting, guys. She's getting ready for her girly. That's why she bought the toothpaste.
where I'm actually making over my bed. I've been wanting to do this for months. You guys kind of actually went on that journey with me a little bit when I got my new comforter. A lot of people are like, Amber Lynn, it literally says Steve Madden all over the blanket. Like what? I don't care. Personally, I really like Steve Madden things. Like I love um, his work. Since when? Since when? You don't have any Steve Madden clothes. You don't have any Steve Madden accessories. You don't have any Steve Madden shoes. You don't have any Steve Madden purses, as far as I'm aware. Um, maybe she has one. If she does, it's old. Like, I love his purses, his wallets. And yet you don't own any. And yet you don't own any. And yet you do not own any. And yet you do not show them off. And yet. And yet. And yet, we've never heard you talk about it before. And when I was like, oh my god, like, he actually makes the cutest freaking sheets and comforter that I, I've ever seen. I really wanted black, and the fact that I was able to find it, I was like, okay. I really wanted black comforter, and I couldn't find a basic black comforter on Amazon because I'm dumb. I'm dumb, guys. Not only does it come with, like, pillowcases and sheets and comforter, but it also comes with decorative pillows, which cute and then i also have this blanket that i got from target i told you she's she's laying everything out this is i knew okay so this i knew a pair of lesbians a pair of lesbians that got together um because i knew when they got together this is what they did together they literally collected all of their bedding and stuff and made just the moat like basically pillow mountain pillow blanket mountain like how she's doing it's nesting it's literally so stereotypical for lesbians that like oh we're just gonna settle in immediately and then be solid together forever never gonna interrupt us we're together once we meet we're never separating only tragedy will part us it's fucking ridiculous and it's crazy to an extent in the exact same way that like gay dudes uh being afraid of long-term relationships you know that gets a little tired one that i'm obsessed with my gray one but i just feel like there's a lot of memories attached to it so i don't want to like use it all the time so i got this look how cute it's gonna look so good with like the black and the floral i also have a ton of clean clothes i need to put away i'm currently doing laundry like it's just like a whole she is scrambling you guys she is so i think she's nervous she's not gonna finish before the girl gets there i think that's what it is this is what it's giving she's nervous and she's literally working to get everything done in time because she's really up against the clock now she waited she waited until the person was on their way i think and now she's doing everything i really think so because she said the person might have come already by the time she's posting this so i think that they did and i think she was doing this right before they got there moment over here okay guys so here is my this looks like fucking crystal crystal era coated as fuck the stuffed animal the fucking throw pillows the blankets oh hell no bed what the heck <laughs> what is this guy right here doing and for some reason i just never realized it because i used to have this bookshelf right here but was covering it why Anyways, would you do okay. that so I'm why would you have a bookshelf in the fucking middle of the walkway where you would plop down onto the uh bed i don't believe you i don't think that you realized it was sticking out like that that's a do not remove tag obviously but amber doesn't know like uh you could do something to hide it you don't have to have it just flapping in the wind God. the color scheme on my bed it's super cute i do have this gray blanket down and this one specifically for my fur babies this is their designated spots that they like to sleep and lay but they have all went rebellious and they said this is their she world, said fuck you bitch live in it. she said fuck you bitch so that's exactly what that face said that face said and what bitch and what i'm up here and what what are you gonna do about it you're filming me i'm on camera what are you gonna do that's what she said Okay, Rarity Gray, I see you. They kind of just lay wherever. And I mainly only did that because, like... I see you, Rarity blocked. Gray. It's going to be for everywhere. But honestly, it's fine. And by the way... Shady this Queen. Right here, this Take after her mom. This little actually from a subscriber <laughs> from when I had a P.O. Box. I still have it because I love it so much. And it actually Aww. was really good with my color scheme that I got going on. Okay, guys. Hello. It's so almost as if you planned that. It's almost as if you're a psychopath.
and you keep things that you think you can recycle so that you can use them against people. It is another day, but I do want to like end this vlog, but I feel like we should do like <laughs> questions of the days because it's been a minute since we've done that. Why do we need to? have been just like on a whole other different planet. Like truly. Truly, I've been on a different planet. That Delta 8, it just hits different. I've been taking a little break from the social media and just kind of just enjoying my life. Um, a lot sure, of you Jan. reached out to me though and you're like, where are you? Are you okay? And I feel bad about that. I do want to upload this video. Nobody reached out to you and if they did, they're little simps wanting to fucking date you. Because they're losers just like you. Or actually, somebody who still wants to date Aunt Amber at this point is a bigger loser than her. At this point, I won't give shit to her past uh, true exes uh wifey and back any of them you guys you're clear anybody else if you date this bitch you're fucking dumb and you're worse off than her in the brain so you guys those two questions so literally the first one is amber are you all right you haven't posted in a week yes i'm actually really really good next one where are you girl i know i'm here i'm just yeah and i can i keep seeing that skin texture popping out because that glitter on your cheek is distracting the filter. On a different planet. Amberlynn, I miss you. Why are you uploading? Is something wrong? I miss you too. And I miss you guys too. I miss filming. I miss it makes all her of it. Nothing. Because it keeps making her cheek look dirty. Is wrong. Everything when is her right, skin actually. texture pops and in. And there's just a lot of things that is like currently going on in my life that you, you see? Will definitely like hear about soon. Someone it's asked, like really fighting. Little pony. I think they're talking about rarity. No. I've actually never seen My Little Pony. I had no it's idea like that a white there was even a pony on there until people started pointing that out to me. And I was like, oh, do you think maybe the Delta 8 is making you hungry? So I actually got a lot of people saying, like, maybe some of Glutide wasn't working because, like, you Bitch. That's what you said. That was your whole thing that you said the last time you went off of Ozempic. You said that you started vaping Delta 8 and or that you never quit. And that's what was curbing the effects of the Ozempic for you. Or that it was overriding it and allowing you to eat more than you should have. Like, literally. Are you fucking... You... Oh my god. And then she'll claim, Well, you guys, my memory really is not good since my hysterectomy. Started doing Delta 8 again. I actually only started smoking Delta 8 again because the semaglutide wasn't working. Sure, Jan. So it wasn't because sure, of the Delta 8. Jan. Plus, what's the percentage of alcohol? Sure, I'm pretty sure it's 15%, sure. which is pretty high for a drink like that. Okay, so this is the last one. Amber, do you know BPD means borderline personality disorder, not bipolar disorder? That is correct. It's kind of a silly question. I was diagnosed with BPD, so I definitely know what it is. Anyways. This dumb bitch. She's gaslighting the new audience. She, Amber Lynn, has said that she has bipolar disorder and uh borderline personality disorder she said she has both diagnosed that's what she said that's what amber lynn said do not take what she just said at face value she's a fucking liar at this point because she herself made a monetized video saying that she had been diagnosed with bpd and uh bipolar disorder like literally this dumb bitch cannot escape her own fucking videos because she doesn't like she even leaves most of them up the ones that literally directly contradict her like just wipe your channel if you don't want to fucking have that happen but then she would lose out on all of the past revenue like that comes in from people doing retro reacts or just stumbling across her channel and going back to watch the other shit for some reason um it's fucking ridiculous and this is exactly why people don't think that she's going to be a successful human being going forward and she hasn't been thus far so what proof does she have that she can none she's always relied on her partners she's never been truly independent in the way that most of us understand the word um, and this whole teen girl excitement over her internet gorly pop is making her look like a giant slice of watermelon right there, a giant slice of fucking watermelon.
dumb bitch. If you enjoyed this reaction, please like and subscribe. I'm getting closer to uh, monetization. I have all the view time I need. Um, more than actually, because you guys... I am astonished anytime I see the metrics for each video. It's like, why are people watching so much of this? Like, and it's not even like so much. It's just like, to me, that's so much that anybody would want to listen to me like that. Thank you so much. Um, and I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to y'all later. And hopefully Amber posts on a cool day. So I'm not sweating like Satan's balls.